Good morning, friends. We're starting early today, so it's about 9.30 in the morning, but I want to make sure that I have enough daylight time to make this. Um, so this is either going to be lunch or potentially dinner, depending on how far we get along. Uh, please excuse the barking. My dog wants to be right next to me, but she makes a lot of noise. So either way. So what the recipe calls for is a grease pan, which, or well, we're going to grease the tray, and then this is all going to be done no cook, so it's going to cook itself. So I'm going to put the ingredients um, in the comments so you guys will have those if you want to end up trying this out yourselves. So we're going to start off with 12 ounce box of macaroni. I can't find 12 ounce boxes, so we have 16 ounces, but we're going to make up for that with the milk to kind of uh, to compensate. So we have post or elbows, one can evaporated milk. We need six tablespoons of butter, one teaspoon yellow mustard, quarter teaspoon paprika, four ounces of cream cheese, two cups of cheese, which this says one and three quarter cups. What I did was is I added mozzarella on top of that, so that I added a quarter cup more. Just wanted it all in one package. And then it says two, one, two and a half cups of milk, but because I can only find 16 ounces. I'm doing three cups milk, which is why that's there. So I'm going to go ahead and cre grease the tray, and I'm going to be adding the milk, seasonings, and butter, and I'll show you what it looks like. Here we are. It's all all of the cream cheese, or not cream cheese, cream cheese was not added yet, uh, but the milks and the seasonings were put in there. Fun fact, I use uh, smoked paprika. And I'm going to tell you right now that smoked paprika mixed with the mustard smells really good. So I'm actually very excited to see how this turns out. And I'm going to go ahead and get it put in the solar oven and then show you guys once it's set up. Here we are, friends. I already have it set in. This took a little bit of finesse because it is going to take a little finesse. It's There's a lot of uh, fluid in there. As you can see, we have a decent sun. Not the greatest, I'm and it's super windy, so we're gonna keep it on the step today instead of my table I like to use. Um, I'm really hoping that the clouds don't come over until I'm done. So, that being said, the instructions say to cook it for an hour. I'm going to translate that to solar table time, which would be, or solar cooker time, which I'm hoping is about an hour and 15 minutes. So, I'll see you guys in an hour and 15. Here we are, friends. One hour and 15 minutes later. And at this point, we're supposed to stir because, yeah, they're kind of clumpy. As you can see, kind of curious how all this recipe is going to turn out but you gotta trust the process. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir that really quick because I can't do that one-handed. All right, as you can see, I broke up the clumps as best as I can. Just slide that in there. I did lose quite a bit of heat, I'm sure, with stirring this. So that being said, the, time, the recipe calls for 30 minutes. I'm actually going to do it for probably another hour, just judging by how the pasta looks and um, the fact that we just lost quite a bit of heat for me stirring. So, and being that we have snow, like we do, um, it would probably be a lot better if, uh, if I did the full hour. So I'll see you guys in another hour. All right, here we are friends, an hour later. Looks like we still have some decent sun going on. Let's check this out and see where we're at. Okay, so I see one potential issue with this, and that is this needs to be stirred more. So my number one recommendation long term for this is going to be uh, probably stirring every half hour. That, uh, pasta is fairly chewy um, 
what I might do is pull this out, stir it again, and let it sit for 10 minutes before bringing it back inside. Stirring in the um, dairy, the, uh, I'm sorry, the cheeses, and then let it sit in the uh, solar oven to uh, use the ambient heat from cooking to uh, to try to sit, get everything kind of set. Otherwise, it's not too bad. Like I said, the macaroni cheese is, or the macaroni part is a little chewy. So my definite word of advice is every 30 minutes or so um, stirring and breaking up the bits. Overall, it doesn't look bad though. Um, like I said, in about, actually, you know what I'm gonna do for 15 minutes since we shouldn't have lost too much heat. And in that time, I'll, uh, I'll get the cheese and stuff ready and then we'll pull it in and uh, check it out from there. All right, friends, here we are 15 minutes later. That looks about right for macaroni and cheese. Uh, we're still a little clumpy, which is okay. So we're gonna store that. Once I stir this, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna throw the, the cheese on, this shredded cheese first. Here we are, friends. I just threw the uh, cheese on real quick. I'm gonna put it back in here and let the residual heat of the oven heat it up for me, and that way we can stir it a little bit better. Here we are, friends. I just pulled this from the oven. As you can see, the cheese is nice and melty. I need to incorporate all of this together, so I'm gonna pause it really quick to stir it because I can't do this one-handed and I lost my tripod again. Here we go, friends. I did add a spot more milk because I thought it'd be a little bit creamier, but here we go. Solar made macaroni and cheese. Sorry, I wanna catch the cheese stretch because that is probably one of my favorite things about baked mac and cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and put some uh, crushed croutons or breadcrumbs or whatever you wanna call it on top because, yeah, we can make it a little, a little bit fancier. That cheese stretch is awesome. All right. Okay. Now it could be this the the milk that I used because I used a uh, lactate brand milk for my kids. Um, even though I have a lot of cheese, we try to cut a little bit of corners where we can. So I'm wondering if that just made it sweet and the cream cheese made it sweeter. It does have a sweet taste to it. Um. So I would probably recommend my dog is wanting my attention. <laughs> Sorry guys. So I am recommending um, possibly a regular milk and maybe maybe substituting the cream cheese for sour cream might be good because this is kind of on the sweet side. It doesn't bother me any. I can throw some hot sauce on there and it'll taste really good. But um, that just comes down to you. Otherwise, it turned out really good. Would I do it again? Absolutely. So if you guys have any suggestions for anything else for me to cook, or you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, uh, I hope to see you guys again, and I'll see you next time.